What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're going to be doing some more stuff on the Free to Play account. We haven't touched Sealand in a while, and we have had a significant boost in power. One thing is, I did take the time, I made up the hero we needed to get you leveled up. This is going to give you a higher hero cap and all this fun stuff. Eventually, uh, we might do some sublimations. Honestly, that's not my goal, though. Everything is going to be going into this hero to unlock Light Slashing to make his active ability even stronger. And we're slowly getting there. Nine more levels. But what we can do is now give you ten more levels, which gives you more speed and everything else to go along with it. Now, let's see what we can do here today. I believe, actually, you know what? We've already gone through and we've... Up Updated the tenant locations. We've almost got level 55 and everything. You can't see it, but the first one with focus here is at level 52, so not too bad there. Uh, 40 auras, and then we're working on this. We're so close to the next coziness level. I literally even made the next building, uh, but I, I, I want to get to that next number, I think, because don't you get more stuff here? Oh, no, that's unlocking six. 3,200. Oh, so it's actually even higher. That is brutal because I really want all these resources here. Yeah, getting six unlocked is going to be trouble. We are only coming up to the fourth one. So let's take a look at these heroes and let's take a look at our other support heroes. So we actually have enough heroes to fully, fully fill out a lineup now, which is really cool. Um, pretty solid. Is there a point using Mockman in this? Especially, I mean, he's got energy. It does taunt them, so maybe, but I don't think any of our supports are really going to live at all. Let's see if we can actually make some more progress, because this will help us get more resources for Cloud Island. We'll get more of the boxes. We'll get all this stuff. So let's see if this does anything. Oh, yeah, we actually have a carry now as well. I totally, totally forgot about that part. Um, Make sure that Aspen is straight across from one of the or the boss. I think this is good. We have Rui on him as well. Oh, wait. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter here because we're not on the boss wave just yet. I guess this will be a good test to see how strong our Mockman has become since the last time doing this. Um, our whole team is actually staying alive pretty well as well. So not too bad. I mean, we're slowly working down the back row. The front row is kind of untouched. Feels a little bad. Maybe we need to go to balance strike on these heroes as well. I mean, Aspen's just locking these enemies down. It feels so good. Oh, my God. It's so close. Oh, my goodness. So, so close. Honestly, I do think if we play the balance strike route, we'll be in a better position here. We definitely... I don't think we care about CC, right? CC doesn't really do anything here. We might actually go for Aspen's core first if there's ever a chance to get a free-to-play core. I don't know when that's going to happen way down the road, but it's it's possible. Not going to get it from, oh, I mean, CC does, I mean, maybe we do need CC. I don't think they have an oscillation effect, right? So we do want to change to crowd control, but yeah, the balance strike does seem better overall. Having that seal is pretty annoying though, so we will go back to control purify. Probably on you unbending wills better since you already have like a full heal. It's just Mockman that has some of those issues. So we'll try, maybe we'll try doing it this way around. We need that Drake to get some good dodges in too. That would be awesome. Maybe we should put Aspen back in the front row though. Because if he is in the front row, he'll alternate where he's fearing in the early rounds, which might be a huge bonus to us. And that might mean less incoming damage. It might also keep the Drake alive just a little longer too. Maybe we should start upgrading some of these Demon Bells. But uh, we don't have like replacement tenant stuff to use here. So yeah, this will get like a fear effect on the front row. And then we can like balance it to the back row maybe. Like alternate back and forth what row is getting hit with it. And also what row is getting weaker from it. Oh, it's just around like round five. They just seem once they get that revive off, they're not going to be feared. And that does mean additional hits. Maybe balance strike is not going to be viable. Although that was like an amazing hit right there. I almost want to put Aspen back in the back row, honestly. Although he does tank a ton of hits. 
maybe going back to like the idea of having a crown. You remember how we used to run this actually? We used to do what? We do damage reduction, crit, and we would do block. And then we were also running a crown on him. Let's give you an energy artifact and we'll swap this over to crown. Let's try him in the front row now because we haven't done that in a while, but that is what we used to do to get big old victories here. Like it would take longer in the battle to get there, but like with the crown in the early rounds, especially with all his block that he has, he doesn't take much damage. I think we even might've used melodic strings in the old days too. Cause like I said, we used to have like a completely different build for running this hero from void campaign to sea land. It does mean it takes longer to ramp up our big actives, but when we do, it's like at a good time to really start crushing the enemy. He does take a ton more hits. Oh, but being sealed off feels so bad. He's still yet to convert his stance. That is surprising. Maybe we should try it more offensive. And actually, let's check yours out here. We got block, crit, damage reduction. I do like that. Maybe going to a tankier style would be better for him as well. Let's give it a few tries with melodic strings because that does mean we get a round one active off. We are slower than them, but it does mean we'll get more counterattacks faster. Wait, where did Drake's defense down go? He was still alive that round. That's really weird. Uh, he's kind of healing. It's going to be too much damage. Yeah, I think in this case, we might need to go back to Unbending Will just to get him. But man, it takes so long for him to change his stance. Like, it's just crazy how long that actually takes. Um, Let's try going back to Unbending Will. It's gonna be really sad if we can't progress anymore until we get to that third origin tree branch for upgrades. We kinda of need to go faster too. Speed's becoming an issue because we're getting sealed off, which is a big, big issue for him. Yeah, that's not gonna work. God, he just full heals like every active is so cool. Um, yeah, let, let's, let's, let's check some things out here. So let's go back to a speedy boy. Let's see if we have a speedy stone for him. We do, um, block crit damage reduction. I like, actually, you know what, if we are doing this, then I think we can safely run balance strike again. I think let's see if that is the answer. We only have a couple more attempts today and I really want to make a little bit more progress. So yeah, now he does outspeed the enemy. So we already start getting those counterattacks in round one. That is perfect. Going before the enemy, even for our active is important because then we are not dealing with getting sealed off, limiting our passive skills and our damage capabilities. Still in that stance there. Yeah, he doesn't counterattack when he's sealed off either, which feels bad. Oh, here we go. Now we have our first really big active potential coming in, and that's pretty solid. Gets a good full heal off as well. Um, this is looking pretty solid, actually. If we can kill off another target or make sure we don't get hit too much, this active could finish them off. And yeah, the front row, surprisingly, works out pretty solid in this case. Aspen should get a kill over here, and then we're just down to one target. I think we have the damage for three rounds to go. One more active from Aspen should do it. There we go, perfect. So Aspen not doing a ton of damage, but he is getting those key kills here and there. So a lot of strings with like a block defensive setup is pretty cool here, but the most important thing is most definitely that speed. Getting that speed off is really, really important here. Um, I think we might be better off going to our old strategy with putting him in the back row though. We'll have to see if he la- Ooh, man, that stun is brutal. But he has changed stance. Oh, not quite enough. Hmm. I almost feel like maybe putting him in the back row in this situation might be get better against these warriors. Let's try swapping them for one attempt here. We'll just get a couple and see how good the burst is. Not that great, honestly. Luckily, though, he does go first, so he does get those big heals off. The Warriors just hitting everything feels bad, but I do like the synergy of carry 
and our Aspen, though, because that's just like keeping them potentially locked down more, draining their energy, having the fear effect on them, not letting them get attacks off in that round, which is cool. Oh my god, we keep like full healing, and it's kind of working, but we have switched stance, which means our damage is going to drop significantly now. Oh no, is it enough? Oh, it's just barely not enough. Nope, I'm doing more. I know it's costing gems, but man, that was so, so close. If we can synergize the Phoenix active with like a uh, a really big active ability from our Star Swordsman Mockman, this could be good. And yeah, we most definitely have to go first. It's like the only option we have. Carry, keep their energy drain. That means we're not even taking hits these rounds. Although not taking any hits does sometimes feel bad because that means we're not getting extra energy for more actives. Looks like we might have one more active right here. And then we're going to drop down to the weak tier one, but we're down to one enemy. So I think we'll have the damage for it. It's going to come down to Aspen. Aspen's going to have the most damage right here out of the two, I think. There we go. So we got another piece done. I kind of want to just keep going with a few more gems. I know spending gems like this is not the best idea, but let's see how this goes. We might want to put him back in the front row since we have the combo wave here. Ooh, that is brutal. I don't know if we'll be able to survive it. Let's do one more attempt, just one more, and then we'll come back tomorrow and try more attempts. We'll put him back in the front row. We'll keep him with melodic strings because that does let him get those counterattacks off immediately, which is huge. Uh, we can keep those back row targets, hopefully, starved of energy thanks to the carry and the Lord of Fear Aspen combo. If we can keep our Amon Ra alive for more shields, that would be pretty sweet, but it doesn't look like that's the case here. We got to get to like round seven ish. And that doesn't look like it's going to happen. So, yeah, we'll have to go back to the drawing board. But, hey, we got some progress so far, and these two are absolutely killing it. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you guys think about the free-to-play series. And let me know how yours are going if you started when we did, too. What was it? Christmas before last? 2021 Christmas? Yeah. See you guys next time.